Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to a Primal Detail Review. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a little while. I'm seeing details about them just pop up here and there on social media, uh, and, you know, forums and uh, Facebook groups, etc. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of reviews out there, although there is clearly a following for them as a brand. Um, picked up a few bits in the Black Friday deals that they ran. I picked up Purge, Pride and Revive. So that's their uh, Purge, their pre-wax. Pride is one of their three waxes. Revive, their quick detailer. Got them for a bit of a steal. Pricing at the minute for them. For Purge, it's the balance is a little bit off on these. So I, I can't see them really needing to do the two sizes, but I, I understand why. They do a 250 mil at a tenner and they do the 500 mil at 13 quid. And Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just wasteful, but I wouldn't spend a tenner if, uh, if I'm going to spend 13, if that makes sense. I'd, I'd just pay the extra three and get the full size, um, even though I do go through a lot of product. I think it's just worth spending that extra three quid for a 100% more product. Their Wax Pride is 100 mil tin, that price is at 30 quid. Uh, and the Revive, the quick detailer that they do, they list it as a, a quick detailer slash waterless wash. Um, so I used it in the quick detailer sense really well priced um so that runs 250 mil is just under six quid and again balance towards a 500 mil price 500 comes in just under nine so again you may as well buy the uh, the nine pound bottle if it were me um really nicely labeled i said in my unboxing i like that they've put the product name in the tattoo on the gorilla the downside of that is if you don't know the product range and you've got a line upon your shelf you do need to grab the bottle to read which one it is but specifically from a, a shop or a shelving point of view, if you saw these on a shelf as an overall brand, the liquid colors are bright and the branding with this sort of shiny gorilla paste uh, logos on them, uh, quite eye catching. So uh, I like it as a small detail. It did appeal to me. I think they could do with just having a version of the label where it is a little bit bigger so that you know which one you're picking up, but that's up to them to make the decision. So it's certainly not a negative on that point. When in use, the pre-wax did exactly what you'd expect. It's an oily type of product. It's polishing oils. Pre-wax cleaners are designed just to clean anything off the paint that you're washing and, you know, decon hasn't. And you'd be surprised um, and just leave a nice base for the wax. I'm trying to make a point of using pre-waxes with their applicable wax counterparts in reviews going forward. This is my first attempt at that. Their pre-wax did exactly what I'd want. It left a nice crisp finish ready for waxing. It felt smooth, felt clean. You could see it took just a little bit of uh, schmutz off the paint with uh, the applicator pad when you check that afterwards. So, you know, big box ticked there. A nice, simple product, nice to use. Had a nice scent on it as well. It's like a, a strawberry fruit smoothie. Um, so it was, it was nice, it was pleasant in use. The wax itself, no real negatives, but one thing which kind of caught me out it had a really strange texture to it almost rubbery so when I was loading the applicator I drew the applicator across the wax and it felt rubbery and I wasn't sure I was loading any onto the applicator so I gave it a good few swipes you need to be careful when you're doing that um, like me you, you don't want to overload the applicator because then you're going to over apply the wax and that's going to cause you issues with removal so that's one that takes a little learning curve be aware that's the nature of the wax once you're used to that, you know, you, you'll be absolutely golden. You may want to use a slightly dampened applicator uh, just to help with the application process. But I felt I didn't need to once I'd kind of gotten used to the fact that it wasn't, you know, at the softer end of the wax spectrum, it was at the firmer end. So it was a nice wax to apply six degrees, uh, if I remember correctly, out, gave it around about 12 minutes cure time. I used a shorter pile microfiber to remove. I found it grabbed at the longer hairs a little bit which with some firmer waxes you'll find. Um, so short pile wo, wo towel came off really, really easy. You know, it was an effortless wax to buff off. And again, like the uh, pre-wax, it left a really crisp, clean finish. It's the sort of wax where for me, if I was cleaning a flat paint, so I mean that this is a metallic black, if it was a flat black or, you know, a white or a red, and I'm, I'm going to revisit this and try it and put some pictures on my Facebook, and my Instagram. I think it would be really well suited to that type of uh, paint finish. But I wasn't sort of adverse to what it did to a metallic either. It left a really nice, crisp type of finish to it. So, um, you know, it can be recommended from that respect as well. After I'd done the buffing, heavens open, got a bit of a downpour, came out, just gave the car a wipe down for the final finish shots with the quick detailer. 
it's the sort of quick detailer. It's got a, quite a viscous fluid to it, so it's not watery. It's got more of like a milk type of consistency. Spray it on, and it was more wipe around and then buff. And you can see it flashing in front of you. So not the quickest flashing, but it is the sort of quick detailer where if you're used to just kind of rushing around your car, wipe, 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 you're probably going to have to double back and deal with, you know, any sort of marks or maybe a, uh, a small streak or anything where you've oversprayed it. But again, a nice uh, finish overall. These are all the finished shots. So they'll show you exactly what you're going to get from the product. Obviously, you guys know I'll prep the paint works. So prep's important, so do look into that. I'll put all the links below. If you want to check them out, and I'd say do, they have a really nice looking range, and I'm going to try some other bits as well. Uh, the links are below. As always, though, from me, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comments below, anything you want to know. Ask the question, and I'll do my best to answer it. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.